What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to do a comparison of the Perfect Fusion Cesium versus the Fans Toy Scoria. Now, these both came out quite a bit while ago, I think 2016 time frame, maybe even earlier than that. The Fans Toy Scoria was the first figure to be made, uh, followed by the Perfect Fusion Cesium. Now, Cesium is, or Perfect Fusion is actually an offshoot of Fans Toys. Uh, they made a separate company, very short-lived, they didn't really make a lot of figures, and then they kind of stopped the line. So the, the real purpose here was to make it uh, kind of bigger and more in scale with the rest of their Dinobots, but there's also some differences. So we're going to take a look at all those differences. Um, like I mentioned with all these reviews, this is my opinion, so I'm going to rank these in different categories. Um, the primary purpose of these videos is to help people decide what figure they want. So if you have one of the other of these and you're happy with it, then great, you win. If you don't have one of these and you're looking to figure out which one is going to meet your needs, then this review should help you do that. All right. Uh, just a shout out to James Magaletta. He's the one that uh, has loaned me his Perfect Fusion Cesium. Um, I own this Scoria. So once again, thanks to him. Shout out to him. All right, let's get into the review. Let's start off with accessories. Here we have all the accessories available for these two guys. And uh, just a note on the Scoria, it looks like he comes with four faces additional, but he actually comes with three additional faces. The one face that's on him uh, came with Grinder. So Grinder comes with extra faces for all of their uh, Dinobots. So just a, just a note there, he only comes with four, uh, sorry, with three extra, total of four, not five. Uh, but with that being said, let's go into it. So you can see they both have the sword, they both have the red chrome, they both have the light-up feature. Uh, every accessory essentially is bigger on a cesium, but because of the same, we'll eliminate those. They both have the gun. Uh, very different styling and look for these two. The cesium is more of a silver paint, whereas this is the chromed out with the translucent. They both have that translucent front. I really don't like this red translucent front. It just makes it look cheap. Uh, it's just a weird design, but uh, they both light up. They're both the same, so get that. They both get an alternate head. Now, this is interesting because the cesium comes with this black one, and I'm not really sure why they give you black versus red. Maybe it's a toy thing. You know, I have it look more like the toy, but they both come with an extra head, so we'll give them both that. And then you're left with this. So this is the, kind of the difference. So you get three extra faces for the Scoria. One yelling red face and then two straight faces. I mentioned earlier that one of these would be mounted on him. So it's really two extra faces. So I'll just eliminate one of them. Whereas for cesium, you have alternate legs, so you can replace the thighs here, and you can get the black thighs. She's going to go like this. That. Uh, again, I think this is a toy thing. I think they want you to get the toy look with the black head and the black, black uh, thighs. Or maybe it's Diaclone, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but you also get these really nice chrome die cast cr uh, horns to replace the horns that are on there. Uh, there's silver horns on there or chrome horns on there, but you get these red chrome, which is very nice. So given that you've got these ex extra accessories, I'm going to give accessories to cesium. Next, uh, let's move on to sculpt. So let's put an image of the G1 cartoon there just for reference. And they both really uh, are very close to the G1 cartoon. Um, there's not really anything that stands out to me except for this. So the shape of this is definitely different than what I envision. Um, this has got more of a flat front. Um, they both have this extra, you know, translucent plastic with some color behind it. But this one, just the, the shape of it is a little bit different. So that's, you know, that's a preference thing. Uh, but in terms of colors, everything, pretty much both of them are you know, pretty spot on. Go to the side here. They both have wings that kind of go back. The Perfect Fusion one, it does kind of 
get in the way a little bit. I mean, they don't really fold out any more than that, so that's kind of all you can go. But uh, both look pretty good. Uh, and now you're starting to see the head here. Um, by the way, this chrome is just a fingerprint magnet. It's very hard. I've been trying to clean it all, all the time. So uh, they both look good, but then here when you look at the back, you can see that's where the real difference comes in. So the heads are shaped very, very differently. So this one is more angular, triangular, whereas this one's more rounded and it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's what I think people were looking for when, after they got this Scoria, they wanted a more rounded head to match the G1 cartoon. And so this definitely looks more like the cartoon when you look at that head, when the dino head. Um, go, if you just... We'll, we'll get back to the paint and stuff a little bit later, but when we take a look from the front, um, it's darn close. I mean, they both hit the cartoon really well. Um, there's a little bit of extra color here that I don't see in the G1 image there, but um, overall, they both pretty much nail it. Uh, if I had to give an edge, it's, it's really too hard to give an edge to either one of these. They both kind of nail it. So I'm going to give it a tie for sculpt. I think they both look really good. They both have a, a nice sculpt. Um, but there is uh, something that comes into play when you bring in the other team members. So let's bring in Grinder, and that's where things start to change. So here you can see Scoria is definitely smaller than Grinder. Scoria comes up to maybe his nose, whereas the cesium is actually a little bit taller, just maybe a, a quarter inch. And that's actually accurate, and it was my buddy uh, Brandon Johnson, Epic Disaster is his uh, channel. He told me, you know, he was actually taller in a lot of scenes. So that's why they remade this guy, is because they wanted him to be taller. And they've achieved that here. So if that factors in for you for sculpt, then that's CZM is probably going to be the one for you. Uh, for me, I really don't mind at all the the size of this guy. I actually kind of like the size. All right, next, let's talk about paint. So again, very, very similar paint. Uh, they both have painted silver thighs, painted red parts here. Uh, this Cesium has a lot more plastic versus painted plastic here. Uh, and then there's some die cast here. Let's see if this, this doesn't feel like die cast in the, in the shoulders, but this is die cast. But then you got die cast in the, in the legs, in the hands, and they all, they both have chrome, uh, die cast chrome, which is, is very nice. Uh, they both have the translucent, or actually, sorry, this is painted green on both. Uh, they both have the, translucent here with the paint behind it. They both have the chrome on the feet, although the it looks like the cesium for a reason, the, the chrome is a lot nicer. I don't know if it's just the condition or if it's a different kind of paint. But uh, uh, And then you get a the little bit of blue here on the shoulders. Uh, turning to the side, you'll notice that the cesium's got gold behind the translucent, whereas this one's got more of a silverish. Uh, in the cartoon, um, it didn't really show either of those, so again, that's a preference thing. Uh, I don't mind either of them, so I think they're both okay. Going to the back, uh, they both have chrome for the horns, they both have gold chrome for the head, they both have the chrome for this plastic um, collar or whatever you call this. Uh, here's where you got more paint, so the Scoria's got a lot more detail on the wings here. This red and blue. This one's got the red and a little bit of gray. So definitely uh, more detail there. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit later, but uh, both tails are this gold chrome. So that's the same. It's just his tail's hidden up in here, so you can't see it. So really, really, really close on the paint. Um, I might give them a slight edge because there's some extra paint right here. Uh, and in the dinosaur mode, you've got all that paint shows up again, and I, I really kind of like that. I like that paint. Um, I don't see as much paint here on the 
cesium. So just by a hair, because of this, I'm going to give paint to scoria. All right, next we'll talk about build, and it's very, very similar. So pretty much all the materials are the same. Uh, you've got die cast on the feet, on the horns, and some of the hardware, and also the, uh, the paws or the claws. And then plastic pretty much for the legs and arms and the back. Uh, they both have die cast horns. The, they both have ratchets pretty much in the same spots. There is an extra ratchet here, so we'll talk about that when we get to articulation, which I'll probably do just next. But um, pretty much very, very similar build. Obviously bigger on cesium, but for in terms of quality and materials used, they are pretty much the same. The only place where I could say they're different is you've got some die cast here on the shoulders, whereas this is plastic, but um, almost everything is identical here. So we're going to call it a tie for build. Uh, next we're going to talk about articulation. So there is a difference in the articulation. They both have the same number of articulation points, but there is a difference in the ratchets. So the Vanstoy's Scoria has a friction joint here, and it was actually loose when I first got it. I tried to tighten it up, and then it's got a ratchet here on the shoulder, whereas Cesium's got a ratchet going out, and it gets you all the way up to there. This does kind of get in the way, but you get all the way up to there, and it's got a ratchet this direction too. So. And they're pretty strong. They're much nicer ratchets. Uh, same for the leg. You got a nice strong ratchet here that holds up the leg and a nice knee ratchet. And the ankle tilt is just uh, friction. You do have a, a ratchet, but it's not strong enough to hold up the leg. And then you have friction joint this way. So it's it's just a little bit weaker in terms of the ratchets, in terms of holding the poses. So and you get a little bit more movement out of cesium. So we're going to give articulation to cesium. Right, next we're going to talk about the engineering and transformation. So engineering on both of these is similar again. I mean it's the same character. But uh, something that really bothers me, there's actually two things that really bother me. Um, on, on the Scoria figure this part always just kind of flops. It does plug in. There's actually a place for it to plug on the back here and it does secure in but it, it tends to pop out but on the on the uh, cesium you've got all of this just kibble. It just doesn't feel very good. It's very cheap plastic back there at least in terms of compared to this. Uh, but then the part that really bothers me is is these. These legs don't secure in there. You know I, I, I keep constantly putting them back in but they keep popping out and it's it's very irritating, especially this top part. As you're manipulating things, it tends to pop out, and that's a different design than this one. This one, it's all kind of hidden away, and I love when they do stuff like this, right? It all collapses down and hides away, and it's it's very neat. And and the cesium just doesn't have that same neatness to it. It's kind of messy back here, and. You know, I, I, I don't know if this was supposed to be a premium line or maybe a, a less costly line, but this just strikes me as kind of lazy, lazy engineering. Uh, and then the other thing that bothers me on the cesium, uh, because the wings don't fold back as far, it's pretty much all you can get it, it hinders the arm, it gets in the way, and it, I just wish it would fold back a little bit more, but it doesn't, so... Because of that, I'm going to give the engineering to Fans Toys. Um, along with that is transformation. There are a lot of panels back here to kind of fit in. And uh, they're, they're a little bit irritating to get in. And actually they're very thin plastic. So right here especially, this is very thin plastic. And it doesn't give you good feels when you're trying to get it to the dinosaur mode. And this is not mine. This is this is a friend. This is James uh, Cesium. So I definitely don't want to break it. But because of that thin plastic, it does give me a little bit of worry when I transform. So I'm going to give engineering and transformation to 
score you. And here they are in their alt modes, and here's where things get really different. So they're totally different takes on this character. So the Perfect Fusion is a little bit more rounded on top, whereas this one is more elongated. Uh, people call this the potato look. I, I don't see it. I mean, it looks fine to me. But uh, th this is more the shape that Slag had. You know, kind of had a slope downwards and then the and then the tail. So I think that's why a lot of people uh, like this version because he's more accurate to the the look of Slag. Uh, even the head is the shape of the head is more rounded, whereas this one's more triangular. Uh, I do like the triangular look, but. There are some things that really bother me in the Dyna mode. So first off, there's really thin panels like this, and it doesn't peg in. I mean, and I, I'm I don't want to break it. This is not my figure, but I've tried, and it doesn't it doesn't peg in. Same on the bottom here, everything just doesn't stay together. He kind of feels cheap and plasticky in this mode, and, and that's a real turnoff for me personally. Um, when you pick it up and it just feels junky and cheap, you know, and when I look at the fans toys version It's all solidly pegs in the only thing that does kind of pop out is right here that same top panel But if I push it in it stays Right, it does need to be pushed in um, This one I push it in it doesn't it doesn't it pops up. So it's not really It's just made cheaply uh, and then the tail, this tail has got a lot more articulation. So you can see it's got two sections here that both move up and down. This one's got one section and this is all it does, just that little waggle. So. Uh, and here, I talked about this earlier, the, the paint, you know, the paint just shows through here. In the dyno mode, you get all that red and blue paint there, all that wiring and stuff. You do have the silver chrome just like you have over there, but there's a lot less paint. And actually there's a lot less detail and sculpt work on the figure. So my personal preference, even though this is probably more G1 accurate, um, hopefully I put the image there for you to look at, uh, my preference is the fans toys. So we're going to give the alt mode to fans toys. Right, the last factor here is cost and at retail, at release. Now things change over time. And these prices vary. Right now, cesium is going for a lot on the aftermarket. But at release, this was $160 retail. This was $200 retail. So in terms of price, uh, no-brainer, the cesium wins at retail. Now, can you get him for that price? No. In fact, he's going for $300 plus. I think I just saw him sell for $400 on one of the forums I'm on. So this is more desirable at this point, even though it was cheaper at release. But anyways, we're gonna give cost to Cesium. So final thoughts on these guys. You can see the score there. Uh, pretty, pretty darn close. They almost tied, but I gave a little edge to Scoria. Um, now that's a personal preference, but either of these guys are pretty good, honestly. Uh, one thing, if you uh, really are a stickler for the size and the scale and you want him to fit in with your other Fans Toys Dinobots or even um, the rest of the scale, the rest of the uh, Masterpiece figures, then you probably want Cesium. Um, me personally, I don't care that he's a little bit shorter than Grimlock. Right? He should actually be taller, but he's a little bit shorter. Um, but it's the feel of this guy that, that makes me happy. I really don't like this stuff, especially during transformation and when you're posing, it tends to kind of come apart on you back here. You can see that this just, it doesn't sit very nicely. And so you end up having to bend the knee here at this joint, which is really meant for transformation and not for posing. And I don't know, it's okay, it's fine. But for me, that bothers me. So I'm definitely not gonna uh, pick up cesium. I think I'm gonna stick with the scoria. Uh, but for those of you that are big on the, the scale the, and maybe even some of the styling of this, then Cesium is a choice for you, especially if you want that bigger, more rounded uh, dino mode, right? This is more potato shaped, is what they call it. Uh, so that's really it. Uh, obviously, uh, either of these are pretty good. I have not looked at any of the Gigapower 
Dinobots, and unfortunately I haven't been able to get a hold of those. If somebody is interested in getting get, getting those to me for a review, you know, I'll send it right back. But um, contact me on my Facebook page. The link is in the description below. That's really it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.